This is amazing. Now we are going to see about VLLM. It is easy, fast, cheap LLM serving for everyone. So why we need VLLM? If you are planning to host your own large language model in a GPU, which requires high throughput, parallel processing, streaming output, OpenAI compatible API server, then you need VLLM. High throughput means you are able to send multiple requests to this AI server. So VLLM is nothing but hosting your AI on your server, which you can run privately in a cloud or locally in your computer. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can install VLLM, how to run it, how you can integrate this with your own application. Also, we'll be seeing how this differs from Llama file and Olama. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about VLLM. The key difference between Llama file and VLLM is that Llama file uses just one file and with cross-platform compatibility. Also, Llama file focuses on CPUs. If you don't know about Llama file, I've covered that separately on another video, which I will link that in the description below. So VLLM focuses mainly on hosting a large language model or serving a large language model, which has GPU support. Even though this supports CPU, the main focus is on GPU. Just because of this high throughput and parallel processing, it is able to perform any task quicker. One more key difference between Llama file and VLLM is that VLLM has a list of supported models, as you can see here. So only these models are supported. But in regards to Llama file, as long as it is GGUF format, you are able to run the model. You can convert any open source large language model to GGUF format, which means you are able to run any model using Llama file. So here are the key difference. Llama file, CPU focused, and you can run any models. VLLM, GPU focused with limited models. So when you see Olama, it is similar to Llama file because Olama and Llama file uses Llama CPP at the backend to run it on a CPU, but VLLM does not use Llama CPP. It has its own optimization techniques. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can install, run and integrate. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, make sure you got graphic card. I'm using RTX A6000. I'm using Mast Compute. So you can use Mervin Prison as coupon code to get 50% off, mainly for a6000 and A5000. Now I have logged into that machine. Here first step, pip install VLLM and then click enter. Now it has installed the main package. Now VLLM, sir, then we need to provide a model. So if we go to the models list, I'm going to use quen7bchat, just copying the model name and then pasting it here. Then going to mention trust remote code. That's it, only this line of code and then click enter. This will automatically download the model and it will start running it. You can see it's loading all the checkpoints and now you can see it's running in this URL with port number 8000. Now we have successfully started the server. So you can even run this on any GPU supported private cloud instance or virtual machine. You can also run this as a Docker file and it supports multiple GPU. Now we have installed VLLM and we are running VLLM. The final step is to integrate in your own application. I'm going to use OpenAI SDK because this is OpenAI compatible. So in your terminal, pip install OpenAI and then click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file, from OpenAI, import OpenAI, then setting up the client with the base URL localhost 8000 version 1, API key as a fake API key, next client.chat.completions.create, and then we are asking a question to the large language model. That is, give me a meal plan for me today. Model name, Quen, Quen7bchat. That is the model name which we downloaded and running. After this, just printing the response like this. That's it. Only this bit of code and we have integrated VLLM in a Python application. Now I'm going to run this in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. And here you can see the response from the large language model Quen using VLLM. Similarly, you are able to use post request without using OpenAI SDK, just by using post request, you are able to call the Quen7b chat model and ask question like this. 
I will put all the code in the description below. You can also run this using Prezen AI chat. Just type pip install Prezen AI chat and then click enter. Next, export OpenAI API base, localhost 8000 version 1 and then click enter. Then export OpenAI API key as a random fake key. That's it. Now Prezen AI chat and it will automatically open this user interface. In the settings, I'm going to mention OpenAI slash and the model name. Click confirm. Now I can ask who created you? And here is the response. I'm a large language model created by Alibaba Cloud. That is correct. So finally, the key difference and when to use what. If you want to host your models on a GPU, use VLLM. If you want to host your model in a CPU, then use Llama file. And if you want to build and test an AI application as a developer, then use Olama. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.